Watch me tear up the French language in today's episode. Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays. My collection. Coming soon. Welcome back, guys, to another episode of Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays. I'm showing off movies and stuff that's in my movie collection. So, um, today's episode, I'm going across the Atlantic to France to the 1950s and 60s. Part of the French New Wave movement gave birth to one of the most highly celebrated French directors from the New Wave, um, the uh, great Jean-Pierre Melville. Now he was very influenced by the films of Warner Brothers in the 30s, the gangster flicks, movies like that, and uh, he was really um, influenced by it. And you can see that in some of his crime movies and stuff that he made in France during those years. So, I'm gonna show off some stuff. First off, I'm gonna show this Jean-Pierre Melville box set. It's called The Essential Collection. It was released by Studio Canal, uh, Region 2 uh, Blu-ray. It includes a 60-page booklet, which is definitely really nice. It's got this slip case, and um, it's really nice. It has a black and white and this uh, shade of blue throughout this, and it makes it look really, really awesome. Here's the booklet. I probably won't stay, so I'll put it right there. And uh, it kind of unfolds like so. big. So yes, that's really nice. I'm about to collapse the whole movie set. But on this on this case, or on this collection here, we have Bob the Gambler, Leon Morin, the Priest, the Doyles, uh, Army of Shadows, the Red Circle and uh, Unflick, Unflick, which uh, each one of those are uh, have to do with the darker elements of life in Europe. A couple of them deal with the French resistance movement during World War II. Their movement, their fight against the Nazis in France. Um, which is, they're just, the way they're done, the little nuances of the characters, the, the, the camera work, the, uh, the writing of the, of the scripts that he uses in his movies really defines the characters, and it shows kind of characters down on their luck, characters that are trying to beat the odds and stuff. And he does that well. He's very, very well known for his writing, uh, his influence of movies. And he was a big influence on a lot of the directors of the uh, 70s. Unfortunately, he died in 1972, I believe. And unfortunately, he, he died and um, too, looked too young. Um, but yeah, definitely a influence on even his fellow countrymen of Francois Truffaut's movies and uh, Jean-Luc Godard's movies. Um, the three of them really defined the French New Wave movement in France in the 60s, which kind of came overseas and influenced a lot of American films in the 70s and still to this day. So, moving right along. I have a release from Eureka Master of Cinema series. This is number 46. And this is uh, The Silence de la Mar, which uh, 
translates. I'm not really sure what it translates to. I'm really not that not that good at, at French, but it's a, it's a great movie. Um, takes place. This is his first actual feature, uh, 1949. Um, has to deal with the Nazis and a concentration camp, and the later years the survivor of a concentration camp. And uh, this is uh, the uh, Eureka DVD. It's the first Eureka DVD I got. And um, it's got excellent bonus features and it has a great transfer of picture quality and audio. Next up, we have a uh, movie on the Criterion Collection Blu-ray, spine number 306. This is Le Samurai, also known as The Samurai. Uh, stars the, the versatile actor Alan Dillon, which he would cross over into a lot of American movies and English movies. Um, the movie uh, Red Sun um, is a good movie that he he, sh he played a a French person, French action. Uh, I don't want to tongue, get all tongue twisted, but he, he showed up with um, in a movie with Charles Bronson, Toshiro Mifune from Japan, Alan Dillon, and Ursulus Andrus from England came together and made a great movie called Red Sun, which I showed in a previous video, but I highly recommend that. The, the Samurai is is an excellent movie. He plays a hitman. Um, after a botched hit, he comes back and tells his boss that you know he messed up. You know, don't pay me. The boss is like, you know, I forgive you. Everything's okay. But just as soon as he walks out the door, a hit is put on him. So it's big, he's outrunning his own boss, his own friends uh, in the business. So it's his survival. Uh, dodging the police, getting help from his girlfriend, some of the shadier side of Paris. Um, it's a great movie. It's great um, action, action pack. Uh, kind of reminds you of a 1940s film noir um, detective, like a detective story almost. You can see the detective influence in this movie. The um, Dasho Hammett, uh, Big Sleep, uh, Maltese Falcon, Humphrey Bogart kind of character. Um, anyways, I have a movie up, that I, I got the, this is a Korean copy of the DVD. The movie was out of print at the time, and this is Le Dumas Sofor. No, I did not say that right. This is a great movie. It shows a, um, I believe, a bank bank robbery gone wrong, um, and a, or a prison escape, and uh, it's really good. So those are the Jean Paul Melville, John Pierre Melville uh, collection that I have, and. Uh, I don't want to go into too much of it, um, tell the stories to a detail and everything. I'll just tell you to, I highly recommend Jean-Pierre Melville. Um, you can see his influence in all his movies. If, if, you're, if you're a cinema buff, you'll see, you'll catch on really quick and the stories really captivate you. So uh, take a chance, go to Paris and experience. Jean-Pierre Melville. Subscribe, guys. Give me a like. Give me some comments. And I'll see you next time on Mike's DVDs and Blu-rays collection. Later, guys.